we got another great story back down in Vermilion. We've been talking about this. The Ponches boys from North Dakota State and USD, they have one player on each team, and Cooper is standing by with mom and dad. Coop? Yeah, Mark, it's always something when siblings are playing each other, you know, facing off against each other, but I'll tell you who it's not easy for. It's not <laughs> always easy for the parents. We're here with Eric and Tanya Ponches. Thank you guys so much for being here with Absolutely. us this morning. Your boys have played each other already once this year. This is a little different setting, um, but as you guys are sitting in the stands here today, what's going to be going through your minds and just watching them play and hoping it's the best game they could possibly be? Right, just very proud of both of them, incredibly proud. Um, just want both teams to play their best games and nobody gets hurt. Uh, go offense, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> We're be cheering for the offense. Both of them play offensive line, so uh, be cheering for the offense. Just a dream come true to watch them run out there and represent their universities. It's pretty exciting. Absolutely, and Hunter was able to get a hand in on that <laughs> blocked kick from last week. I know that's what people have been talking about as well, and I'm sure uh, hopefully you know, Garrett will be able to find something in the game, right? He can have something that he can do, some bragging rights. But, I mean, it's just siblings, I know, they, they probably feed off each other extremely well. And, you know, out there today, even though they won't be up against each other, I'm sure they're both going to be hoping that the other one does the best that they possibly can, right? For sure. They've always been pretty respectful of each other, as far as we know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, th I think they're both incredibly proud of each other. Yeah, they're each other's biggest fans, so I know uh, the boys were communicating last Saturday night after that, and uh, pretty big moment for them, and uh, they celebrated together. Absolutely, and Eric, you also played at North Dakota as well, I believe offensive line as well, so three offensive linemen in the family as well, and still all in the Missouri Valley here. I mean, how awesome is that just to be as parents, you know, we're, we're in this conference and, you know, teams that we're close to, and we get to see them as often as we can. It's, it's a pretty awesome thing. Yeah, I got I-29 covered through the years, <laughs> been up and down it many times, and uh, it's fun to come back and see the improvements that uh, each university has made over the years, too. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much again for being here. I'm sure you guys are nerves and everything like that. <laughs> we'll let you go and, you know, hopefully just sit there and have the game as best as we can. So thank you guys so much for coming on and absolutely. have fun with the game today thank as well. You. So go up and <laughs> absolutely. Well, we come back here, you know, we'll have some updates from the Red Raiders, but right now we'll toss it back to Mark and Brookings.